my name is Isabella Perez Hernandez, and I want to share something with you all that's been on my mind recently. Um, I'd like to start off by saying that I strongly dislike writing about my art. So that was a good start to knowing that I was doing an art talk a month earlier than I was supposed to. Um, artist statements are my absolute nightmare, and if I could go the rest of my life without uh, writing about my art and just discussing it through spoken word, I'd be a very happy gal. Um, I feel that my work needs a human connection and verbal communication uh, to actually get my feelings fully across. This is what I, oh, oh no, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> this is why Art Talk, I mean, this is why Portfolio Day was such a refreshing and rewarding experience for me. I love speaking with representatives from so many different schools and getting feedback from all, on all of my work in a way that I had never had before. I really enjoyed that one-on-one -on -one connection with each person that would come through and then go and then the next person would come along and I would learn from the previous one and move on. Um, however, I had somewhat of a mild epiphany when a representative from one school said that they could tell I put a lot of work and thought into my materials, and that I clearly thought about every single little detail when I made my art. The epiphany part came in when that representative left, and the next one came in, and he said that I clearly don't care about my materials, and I've never thought about making art before I actually make it, and I don't care about making art, and I should work twice as hard. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think this was the first time that I understood that I was never going to please everybody with my art. Going into grade 10 from grade 9, I wasn't producing very much work because I was worried about my art being considered valid or invalid. Uh, we were learning about the pencil, and I wanted to make sure that my art was relatable for the entire world, for the entire human condition. Uh, I needed to make art that was relatable for the world and everybody who lived in it. I didn't want to make art about myself because that would be selfish. I thought that making art about myself was only relatable to me and would be relatable to anybody else, and I was just looking at, I was just looking out for myself in that sense. Um, what I was really passionate about was my culture and sharing what I had, what it had been like to immigrate here from Cuba in 2009. Um, I started making work about what I was truly, genuinely passionate about. I was making work that I loved, and this made it easier for me to produce more and more and slowly improve from the feedback of my peers because I now felt comfortable sharing my work so I could get feedback on it and improve with everything I made. Once I stopped worrying about the human condition and the pencil and noticed that I was the pencil, um, I, I, my art became more honest and more genuine. But in all seriousness, if it hadn't been for putting myself first in my work, who knows how long I would have been stuck in that state of constant worry about every single little thing that I made. I'd like all of you to take one thing from this very short, very simple talk, and that is to make art that you genuinely love. Make art that you like producing, make art that you like looking at, make art that you like talking about. Because once you make art that you're passionate about, that passion will translate through, and it will make people passionate about your work too, and you will be so happy to share it with the rest of the world. <laughs> well, if you can't make everybody happy with your art, then you should put yourself first and make things that you like. Thank you for coming to Art Talk. Congratulations.